If you follow Blender News on Twitter or other social media, you may have seen these cool demos of the Lazy Bones add-on. It does some sort of simulation to compress the mesh down to edges, and then it turns these edges into bones, which you can use to rig your mesh. This looks super cool, so I had to try it for myself. But as I was testing, I started asking myself, is this practical? Before we get into it, just want to mention addons.cgdive.com. This is my attempt to organize Blender add-ons in a way that makes sense. So for example, you can find the Lazy Bones add-on under Rigging, Auto Rigging, and you'll find it here along with a couple of other add-ons. So Lazy Bones, is it practical? Unfortunately, the answer is it depends. In many simple cases, it's actually not. For example, if you're rigging a simple human, it may be faster to create the bones yourself. Where the add-on shines is more complex meshes, such as abstract shapes or very complex branching meshes, such as a tree. Lazy Bones is a paid product, it's $13, and we managed to negotiate a discount for CG Dive viewers. Use coupon code LAZYCGDIVE at checkout and you'll get 25% off. Once you buy it, you'll be able to download it and then do not unzip this file, go to Blender, go to Edit Preferences, Install, navigate to your zip file and install it. So it will pop up here for you and you'll have to enable it. So for the basic demonstration, I'm going to be using this random branching mesh. The size of your mesh is important. So here my mesh is 8 meters tall. The add-on is optimized to work with meshes which are about 2 meters in each direction. Bigger than that shouldn't be much of a problem, but much smaller may be a problem. To start off, select your mesh. In object mode, right-click. In the right-click menu, you'll find the Lazy Bones menu. And we can use the Mesh to Edge Sim button. Your mesh will seem to disappear. Don't worry, it's still here. And now there was a pop-up to apply the simulation. It disappeared, but we can still find it under the AND panel. And by the way, this is a simulation, so you can go back. And you can find the exact frame where the simulation looks good to you. And then apply the simulation. After applying it, you'll have additional options to tweak the result that you get. So you can increase the point scale. This is just for visualization purposes. You can resample the curve. This is important because each edge will become a bone. So we want to get it to a state where the vertices are not too dense. Here we have some X snapping options. This is more useful for symmetrical meshes, but here I can, I guess I can play with this and get this line really straight on the X axis. And there is a mirroring, which is definitely only useful for symmetrical meshes. Uh, for this one, it will just mess things up. So I'm not going to apply these symmetry options. Once you're happy with your result, you can press apply modifiers and that will turn the simulation into a standard mesh. You can go to edit mode and just tweak it by moving the vertices and so on. From here, you can go to the next stage of the workflow and that is to convert these edges into bones. Again, you need to right click, but you may not see the lazy bones option. That is because you need to be in edge selection mode. So I'll simply select all edges with A, then right click, lazy bones, edge to bone. Um, I'll use the defaults, press OK. And as you can see, this gave me an armature, or rather a bunch of armatures. So at each intersection, it actually creates a separate armature. So let's undo and explore some options. First of all, the position of the 3D cursor is very important for the generation of the bones. So if I place it here, for example, and then right click and choose edge to bone and press OK. You'll see how from the position of the cursor, these bones go in this direction, this one in the opposite direction and so on. So this depends on the position of the cursor. This may be what you want, but I'm going to undo and press the cursor at the center of the world so that my bones all branch out from this position and into these directions, right? Um, so I'll do it again, and this time let's enable the Join Armatures option and press OK. And as you can see, this created a single armature this time. However, keep in mind that the individual chains are still not parented. So you may have to do it manually, but later I'm going to show you an automatic way to join the armatures. 
So for now, I'm going to quickly parent these bones to this bone. And this to this. And these two to this bone. And by the way, the add-on also gives you additional options to tweak the generated armature. So if I select everything and press dissolve by uh, with the setting of two, that will dissolve every second bone. So that can be cool if you want to simplify your armature. If there are simply too many bones, I'm going to undo here. You have options for tweaking the bone roll, switching the direction of the selected armature. You can also use the three cursor to control the direction of these bones. And some options for symmetrization. By the way, symmetrization here is very cool because it doesn't rely on bone names. So here I was able to symmetrize everything, even though the bone names weren't symmetrical. But after the symmetrization, they will be symmetrical. The add-on will take care of that. So that covers what the add-on does. So now I can go to object mode and unhide my original mesh. Select it, shift select the armature, control P, automatic weights, go to pose mode, and I have a rigged mesh. Let's try to rig something more usual. I'm going to try to apply lazy bones to this simple character. So select it, right click, lazy bones, mesh to edge sim. And we'll very quickly get to something that we could use. And here, actually, I'm going to undo and scale my character up and make it double the size and then simulate. And that should make the simulation more stable. I'm going to pick this state, go to lazy bones and apply the simulation and then tweak the settings, increase the X snap, symmetrize, use edge deletion to remove some of the dense vertices. By the way, do not expect the add-on to create fine details such as the fingers. These details are simply too small. You can try resampling the curve as well, but I'm going to keep it like this and apply the modifiers. Then go to edit mode, edge select mode, select everything, right click and do edge to bone. And actually before that, I should place the 3D cursor. So let's select these vertices here and press shift S, cursor to select it. And this way the bones should have this kind of flow. Okay, now all edges and edge to bone, press OK. And the arms still got the wrong directions, so let's just select them, switch direction. Now I'll select everything and dissolve to get less bones. And now I'm going to join everything together, Control J, and symmetrize the armature. Now in edit mode, I'll enable X symmetry and do some manual adjustments. I may need to dissolve this bone, give it a better bend, dissolve this bone. And also adjust the armature to the actual model. So as you can see, some manual adjustment is needed in this case. Now parent the bone chains, parent with automatic weights, and we do have an armature. But you have to ask yourself, was it worth it to go through the lazy bones process? I could have started from scratch and that may have actually been faster. So I definitely wanted to show you this so that you don't think that this add-on is some magic solution that just creates an armature for you with a couple of clicks. But next I'm going to show you examples where this add-on is actually very useful and can save you a lot of time. So here is an example of this abstract type of mesh and this is inspired by one of the examples by the add-on creator. I just recreated something similar. Adding bones to match this shape will definitely take a lot of time. So let's see how we can do it with lazy bones. So select the shape, right click, lazy bones, mesh to edge sim, wait a second, apply the simulation, and here um, mirroring and so on won't be necessary. Try resampling a little bit and apply the modifiers. Then you go to edit mode, edge selection mode, select all edges, right click, lazy bones, edge to bone, click OK. And now you get all of these chains. 
you can use the dissolve option to optimize things a little bit you can also do it on multiple selected bones okay and once you're done you can join everything together unhide your main mesh control p automatic weights and of course uh, the parenting is not done but this kind of mesh will require additional rigging um, to join these pieces here anyway with constraints so we're going to call this done uh, and we'll go to another example now let's look at a slightly crazy example and i think this can be a great use case for this add-on i have a tree model and this is uh, made with the sapling tree generator this is a pre-installed add-on in blender by the way on addons.cgdive.com you can go to nature then trees and you'll find a lot of free and paid add-ons for tree generation and it actually generates curves so i have to convert it to mesh and now if i try to convert this to lazy bones it will kind of work but you can see how the simulation goes kind of wonky very quickly so i'm going to undo and i'm going to create a duplicate of this tree then go to edit mode and this tree has a lot of holes so i'm going to select everything and then press f3 and type fill holes and increase the number of sides to fill the holes next i'm going to go to the mesh tab and i want to voxel remesh the tree so that everything is fused together this voxel size is still too big, so I'm going to go for 0.1. And then I'll actually give it a decimate modifier, set it to about 0.2, apply it. So one thing to pay attention to when working with lazy bones is the size of your mesh. Here we have a size of about 6 meters, which should be fine. And the other one is the geometry. It's best to be connected geometry and speaking of that let's go to edit mode and press l over the main trunk then Control i to isolate all of these separate vertices and then delete all vertices okay with that i can simulate and see what happens but i still don't like the simulation that much so i'm going to press s and then 2 to make this tree twice the size and then simulate okay and now it actually simulates much better we can actually try to make it even bigger so if you make it too big uh, the simulation may get slower but it will be more stable so something like this looks good to me so i'm going to apply the simulation let's resample a little bit to get less vertices and less edges I can increase the edge deletion parameter to get rid of some of these disconnected vertices and everything else should be fine so I'm going to apply the modifiers and you can go to edit mode and tweak these edges even more for example if there are too many edges here you may want to dissolve them stuff like that in this case I'm not going to do it and I'll go to edit mode, edge select mode, select all edges, right click lazy bones, edge to bone, and press OK. And this will take a second because now we are generating a lot of armatures, but it's done. And for the most part, it looks good, but some chains may need to be reversed. So just select them and press switch direction. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time uh, trying to catch all of the inverted ones and switching them to the correct direction and if you feel that the bones are too dense you can select chains and dissolve them i'm not going to spend too much time here but if you're doing this for real you should because it will make your final result better and more optimized but for now i'm going to select all of the armatures and join them and now we have the problem that these armatures are not parented and there are way too many. Parenting them by hand would be very difficult. Luckily, there is another add-on 
and it's free. It's our add-on game rig tools. I'm going to give you a link to it. It is installed the same way as the Lazy Bones. And you'll go to game rig tools, utilities, select all of your bones and choose the proximity parent utility. And here uh, you can keep the default options and just increase the max distance to something like 0 0.3, 0 0.4 was good for my test. Then press OK. And that didn't work. Let's try it again. It have value. And there we go. Most of the bones are parented. And the parenting makes sense. Some of the chains weren't parented. But as you can see, these are the chains that had the wrong directions. So I should have spent more time finding these armatures and setting their direction. But anyway, this is pretty good for a almost automatic solution. Now I can go back and scale down the armature until it's the right size. Apply the scale, then I can select the mesh, shift select the armature, control P, automatic weights and hope that it works because automatic weights is not great with these type of meshes. But it did work, so now my tree is rigged. And it's almost perfect except for these branches that weren't parented automatically, which you can still do manually. Okay, so we managed to do this in under 10 minutes, which I think is great. Doing it manually would have been a complete nightmare. Just in case it is not obvious, the simulation part of this add-on and the edge to bone part are two distinct features. So if I just have edges like this and select all of them, right click lazy bones, edge to bone and press OK, that will give me an armature. So as a practical example, if I wanted to rig this skirt, for example, I can go to edit mode, select a loop of edges, use checker deselect, select the edge loops, shift D and duplicate the edges, press P to separate them into a separate mesh, go to edit mode, edge select mode, select all edges, right click lazy bones edge to bone, and in this case, I can join the armatures and just press OK. And actually, let's undo and select these vertices and set the cursor here in the middle. And then do edge to bone. That will give me armatures in the exact direction that I want. I'm going to dissolve them once. And then I can parent my skirt with automatic weights. And there you go. So you can convert edges to bones without the simulation part, and that can be very useful in some cases. If you want to check out Lazy Bones, you'll find a link to it in the video description. You'll also find a link to addons.cgdive.com if you want to discover even more awesome Blender add-ons.